Go ahead. Here we go. Hi, my name is Lewis, and this is my birth story. It's a bit of an adventure. So it starts out with my parents. They're both from Mexico. My mom is from northern Mexico. In Obre she was born in Obregón, Sonora. My dad is from Michoacán, Zamora. So it's down south. So my mom, how she got into the country is she got through the country through my grandpa who had a work visa because you know immigration was a lot more lax back then. My dad actually though, he went through the legal way. Um, my uncle at the time, he was, or at the time he was living in the United States, he came to get my dad who was in Tijuana ready to cross over. Uh, mind you that my, uh, my uncle, when he crossed, he had already crossed to he had already crossed to get to the United States, so he had to do it twice uh, just to get my dad. So then when he finally got my dad, they went to Long Beach. They had, um, they had a couple cousins living in Long Beach, and they were staying with them. And my dad was 17 at the time, so he couldn't work. So he only had an option to go to school. And he went to Bell, uh, city of Bell, to learn English. Well, my mom was actually there. Um, she was trying to finish her GED, I believe, and so they both met, they started dating, and then my grandpa on my mom's side, she actually encouraged them to get married because, um, yeah, because they, you know, were dating for a while, so, you know, he wanted them, because he was, you know, traditional, so he wanted them to get married. So they got married in the summer of 94, and they wanted to have a child, so I was a planned child in 1995. Um, they couldn't have children, uh, or they were trying, they were trying to have children, uh, but it was hard. But then when my mom came, she had the birth, uh, what's it called? She had the pregnancy test. So she came running up to my dad, and this is how my dad tells it, you know, this is my dad's version of things. So she comes running up, and she gives it to him, and she's like, Jose, estoy embarazada, pero si no es una niña, prefiero no estar embarazada. <laughs> so what that means, if you don't understand Spanish, is um, she said, Jose, I'm pregnant. But if it's not a girl, I'd rather not be pregnant. And so nine months passed. They didn't want to know the gender of the child. So then when it was the actual time for me to be uh, birthed, <laughs> my dad was in Pomona and my mom was living or in Paramount. So she had no way to get to the hospital. Because my grandparents, they, had, they were living in the Inland Empire and everyone else was just scattered. So my dad had to go all the way from Pomona, run to Paramount and they get her. So when they actually rushed her to the hospital, uh, my mom was in labor for three days because um, I was an eight pound baby and have a huge head so she couldn't push me out. So uh, the doctor was like, yo, C-section. And my mom got that C-section and I came out. And how my dad says is that, my dad was like, hallelujah, it's a boy. And my mom was like, oh my God, it's a boy. <laughs> so when I was finally born, they named me Luis after my dad. And that's my, Thank you.